God, you already know I am relentless, excuse me, when it comes to the word of God, having the power of God. And I'm going to tell you something. Spiritual warfare is real. Let me tell you something. And I think, no, it's not I think. I know the church is scared. I know that you guys like, they're not preaching it. They're not teaching it because you have to live it in order to do that. I'm going to tell you guys what happened. So I was doing a live audio and I was talking about be not you transformed to this world. I got cut off and I know if you was listening, which I think almost 60 of you was. So I almost got, I got cut off. So then I tried to come back and it kept going in and out, in and out. And it reminded me, of course, the way they used to do me. You know how they used to do me. If y'all been following me, they always start cutting off my lives. But now here's the deal. You know, we fasting. Today is the 18th day. I'm going to be honest with you. There's a different anointing that comes on me when I fast. And I'm going to be honest with you. You should be able to look at it in my eyes. There's something different. I have felt that my whole life. As a matter of fact, I'm not the only one. Come on, somebody. You will feel it too. All you got to do is just keep on. But I'm going to tell you, he is relentless. And I see what the enemy is doing. He's trying to frustrate people. And that's what he's doing in your life. He's trying to frustrate you. He's trying to frustrate me, but he just don't know. I ain't, I ain't doing a little something, something. God don't hear. Ain't nobody playing with the enemy. You, 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 got, you got one for real. You know, I couldn't understand why God had chose me. But then I do. With the prior life that I use, I'm going to come so real this morning. It's going to make your head spin. I see why God chooses ex this, ex death, ex liars, ex thieves, ex cons, ex this. I see why. Because you know what he said? He said, I'm going to take that thing that tried to destroy you. I'll make you destroy yourself. And I'm going to use it for my glory. Hallelujah. I need that toughness. I need that roughness. I need that tenacity. I need that. You don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. That's what Paul had. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And we got it too. Because I don't stop. And I'm going to tell you what he did. And that really made me mad. I said, oh, you just don't know. I smile the whole time I was getting ready to do this. I just smiled. I just smiled. But let me tell you what just happened. I was going to sit down and I'm not kidding. All of a sudden a force came and pushed me down on my hand. It hurts a little bit. I'm not lying. I felt assaulted just now. I know some of you are like, oh, she's dramatic. I'm so serious. But that's the way. Let me tell you something. I've been seeing demons since I was 27. I can tell you more stories that'll make your head spin, but I'm not going to give him glory. I'm going to give God the glory because here's the deal. That's why he don't like me. He tries to, you know who he is. It's a spirit. Yes, God uses people and so does the devil. So you have to understand. So let me slow myself down. Spiritual warfare is real. And here's the deal. Whoever has the mind of Christ will do Christ-like things. Whoever has the mind of the enemy, then you letting the devil use your period in the story. It's spiritual warfare, but now don't get it twisted. There are entities. That's why I was reading chapter 6. It says, but be ye transformed. But no, that was 12, 12. Chapter 6 was like, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's why I don't understand why y'all don't understand that excuse me, the pedophiles run the country, the elite run the country, all these people run the country, and y'all sitting up there talking about, I want to be a star, I want to be famous, I want to be this, don't you know that you can't get in those places without their cosign, let me tell you something, when I was in Hollywood, I promise you, I was that close, when God, if you know anything about my um, testimony, when God sent me that dream that night, because I was doing some things that I had no business doing, oh, I keep it a hundred on purpose, even being a Christian. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. But when I was in Hollywood and I was doing all kind of crazy stuff, I had lost my mind, stopped going to church, thought I was all that in a bag of chips like some of them doing in the gospel field, in the preacher's field, you know, because I ain't going to lie, money and a spirit, it would make you change. It would make you change because you start thinking you all that... You want to know what a person is working with? Let God bless them with a lot. And if they are not grounded in, in, in truth and in word and in the spirit of God, they're going to flip flop. I'm telling you what happened. And so long story short, when God gave me that dream and the dream was, you sure you want this, Deanna? Or do you want this? And, and when he did that, I woke up that next morning and I said, and I repented. I said, God, I'm sorry. I said, I want you. I don't want that. And that's when he said, you have to lose everything because you know what you did to get what you, oh, I'm keeping it real. Y'all need that. And I lost everything. But I found God. Y'all ain't ready for me. I yes, I lost everything. And it didn't make no sense. Friends too, because you know when you got a lot, you you know what I'm saying. And, and I'm going somewhere with this. This is all about transform, not being conformed to this world. 
I didn't want the world like that. If I got to sell my soul just to have some money, hold on. I'm finna go here. Just to have everybody come into my house and say, look, look, you guys, how I'm living. Y'all yeah, know it's the truth. Or, or look what I'm driving. And I was driving Mercedes Benz and stuff. So I don't, don't. As a matter of fact, I went, and I'm not bragging. I'm trying to tell you how people are conformed to this world. I remember I went, brought two cars for cash, my Mercedes and the Infinity. And they, it, I'm just being real. And. You know, at that time, you know, people, oh, you know, and you be liking the hype and you be liking, don't, don't, don't play. You all know it's the truth. But when you really start knowing who you are in Christ, none of that stuff matter. I'm not saying that we don't like nice things. I'm not saying that God get mad at you having nice things. But most of the time, those things have people and they start changing and they do things behind the scenes that you don't even think they do. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know you don't like it, but it's tight, but it's right and it's real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now, what I was saying before I was abruptly cut off by these people, people and demons, because they both work together. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Spiritual wickedness in high places. They didn't want me to finish my testimony, but I have to get up on here and tell it. Even when I was a child of God, drinking, fornicating, acting a fool behind closed doors, but want to preach the word of God. I told y'all that that's what I did. Yes, I did. I don't mind being transparent. It wasn't until I stopped playing that's when the power of God came up on me. And God had been to him. He had, he had some mighty men and women of God to tell me, Deanna, stop playing. And they wouldn't say it like that. But they would say, God wants you to put him first. God wants you to. And I knew what they were talking about. I played dumb like some of y'all playing dumb. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And and, 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 and I'm going to be honest with you. You see, when somebody telling the truth, it don't feel good. You be looking at people all crazy. You, you might not say nothing, but you're talking to yourself. Like, I wish they just shut up. I don't want to hear this right now. I don't want to hear this. I'm doing what I'm doing, and I'm loving it, and leave me alone. I know it's true, but when that power of God gets you for real, the real power, I ain't talking about this emotional, <laughs> all that fake stuff, please, You're trying to, hold on, lay, lay on some, lay hands and, and pushing people and your head hurt and you be like, look, you ain't got no power, I'm not falling down. I'm talking about that real power. It'll change your mind. It'll change your world. God will start telling you about you. Quit playing with me. Stop doing this. God will warn you. And that that is what he is commanding his preachers and teachers to do in this hour. Tell people the truth. Stop lying to people. Stop making the believers all about money. Can I tell you something? Money has a spirit on it. And if you are not grounded, it will overtake you. That's why people kill. That's why people steal. That's why people sell drugs. That's why people pimp the gospel. Don't play with me. Everything has a spirit on it. And that's why you have to have the power of God to say, God, don't let me fall like that. God, don't let me play with you like that. God, don't let me do that. God, don't let me do what they do. And it ain't about judging. It's just real. You can sit up there and play that game if you want. Every Everybody is susceptible to it. We can all fall to that spirit because we need money to survive. But what would you do? Remember that song back in the day? What people do for money. They still doing it. Stop playing. They still doing it. They just putting the word of God on it and, and, and dressing nice and, and, and talking eloquent and telling you, I, I, I just got my doctor degree. and I, I, I. Really? Let me read something to y'all. No, but I ain't playing. I ain't playing. I ain't never playing. You know, and it's so funny because, and, and I say things over and over again because I want you to get in your spirit. When I was doing all my crazy stuff, and I'm not talking about in the kingdom of God, I'm talking about when I wasn't saved. You know what I used to tell people? I used to, and I'm not kidding. People that roll with me that could tell you this. They say, I used to say, um, have you ever danced with the devil's daughter? I used to actually say that crazy stuff because I was so much into the world. Isn't it ironic now I'm a child of God? And I'm going, and, and hold on, I will say this, God's smart. Because as hard, I was hard. Oh, you don't understand. I did some things, y'all. And look, when I say that, that is not me reliving the past. That's a testimony because I know I ain't supposed to be here. The stuff I did, hallelujah, y'all ain't ready for me. The guns that was to my head, and I said, shoot, I ain't scared to die. And God said, no. One of them did in the gun jam. No, I ain't supposed to be here. But I promised God this. As hard as I was or I thought I was out there, I'm going to go hard for you to the day I die. And this ain't no game. And, 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 and you know how it's real? When people don't like you for no reason. That's a spirit. When your own family will talk about you as if you were still the person you was. And I'm going to say something. Y'all love me more when I was no good. Yeah, I said it. Nah, I'm trying to be good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I still love you. Shots fired. That, yeah, I did that.
because it don't make no sense. If you don't go to God, you'll go back to the thinking, trying to get love from people. That's why I said I'm not trying to be messy. You have to have such a love for God and God love you and y'all fall in love together because honestly, you must need love. So some of you are fall back to your old ways trying to get people to love you because you don't love you because you like, well, ain't nobody around me. No. You got to be strong enough to tell God, God, I serve you when I'm by myself. God, I serve you when they talk about me. God, I serve you when I don't have nobody. God, I serve you when I'm in between blessings. God, I serve you when you give me abundance. God, I serve you. Y'all got to stop serving God just when it feel good because I'm going to be honest with you. And that's why God got me on here. I see so many people so frustrated. I see some. Let me tell you something. I, I'm really a see you. I didn't ask for this. Oh God, y'all ain't ready for. I didn't ask for this. This 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 get this get heavy. Y'all ain't ready for me. I see what others don't see. Even through here, I could I be on social media. I could see when y'all in pain. No matter how much you you got the makeup on and you're looking all cute and you're taking your selfie. I see you. I see you hurting. I see you lonely. I see you want a husband. I see you want a wife. I see you wondering, okay, God, when you going to bless me? I need some money. I'm about to lose this, this. I see. Y'all, let's sit up there and perpetrate. I start to go to God with all your fiber, all your, all your, and say, God, keep me. I ain't saying get up on here and tell your business because that's probably not a good thing to do. Because people won't laugh at you and use it against you. I promise you. See, me, I don't care. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready. See, when you're free, you don't care. You can say whatever you want to say because I'm going to tell it anyway. And that was that's the crazy part about God. When and I don't mean it in a derogatory way. Everything that you did, you gonna probably end up telling before you die anyway because you're free. God has lifted them tormenting demons. They didn't, they can't mess with your mind. That's why people stay up at night. That's why people are frustrated. That's why He said, "Do not conform to this world," because you'll be thinking, uh, you'll be up all night long, all night long, worrying, worrying. How you gonna do this? How you gonna do this? And you're hook and crook to get it. Even a child of God. How many women have slept with men just because they pay their bills? Or a car no do? Don't play. And vice versa. And men, you just as guilty anyway because you know she in need. And instead of you bless your sister, uh, what's up? Yeah, I'm preaching today. Hallelujah. God tired of that. And, and y'all and, and y'all think nobody don't know. People ain't crazy. People ain't crazy. They, they, it's a spirit of truth that's on this earth. That even a liar is having a bad time this, right now. Oh, come on. So I'm telling you. That's why y'all seen all them memes with them babies. Even babies looking at people like, really? Really? I can't talk, but I know you lying. Y'all ain't ready for me. But let's go back to being not being conformed to this world. You know, if you... And I know we need things. But this system is getting people. Got everybody wanting to be branded. Got people doing stuff that you say you would never do just to be recognized. Oh, and the spirit of attention. Look at me. Look at me. Perpetrating. We know you're in between blessings. You ain't got to perpetrate like that. I'm trying to say something. God cannot bless you if you're lying. God can't bless you if you're pretending. God can't bless you if you're faking. You ain't got to tell everybody, but just be real with God and yourself. That's what I'm saying. And then, then y'all coming, oh, Lord, hallelujah. Then y'all coming against each other just because the other one look blessed. Notice what I say, look blessed. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Because truth be told, in this day and age, everybody hurting. Just hurting differently. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Everybody going through a little something, something. D don't play. Don't play. Hallelujah. So let me read this. Romans 12, 2 says, it's consistently one of the most quoted verses in the Bible, believe it or not. But in that little passage, we are warned that there are forces. I need y'all to listen to me. There are forces competing for our attention. Don't you know that's what Hollywood's doing? Let me tell y'all something. And I said I was going to do a, um, a segment on it. Do y'all know when people really start doing drive-bys? We did it. Black people. And like I say, if you are any under ethnicity up in here, don't worry. When I'm talking to certain groups... I might shoot your group out. I don't know. But here's the deal. And what I mean by that is talk. I, I know this. we got to watch verbiage these days. Well, she said shoot. And I wonder if she has a gun. Y'all just as crazy. They got the devil just. Y'all don't understand what's happening. The devil got people just tripping. Calm down and consider the matter, says the Lord. So this is what I'm saying. Minister society. Boys in the hood. All that stuff. People. Your eye gates. Even right now. Everything. And then, oh, I ought to do that. Yeah, because that, that, he owed me $5. He owed me 10 
Y'all don't understand. Everything is lived out through vision. So that's how important your vision is. That's why they that's why they do it. That's why did you see ads even all around town? Oh, come join this church or, or, or eat at McDonald's or eat. They know that vision starts. Hallelujah. That's what it starts and ends with your vision. That's where you have to be careful and guard your gates. I don't listen to everybody. I don't I don't even look at TV. I don't. Every now and then I'll jump in front of there, but I promise you, it is not anything crazy. I don't look at scary movies because and I don't know why God got me going here. That's our spirits. Everything you do is a spiritual. Now, the big thing is, oh, mental illness. I heard I was listening to the radio gospel station. You might have diabetes. You might have this. They're putting fear on the people of God. And you're thinking, oh, oh, you're easily manipulated, says the Lord. So let me continue. There are forces competing for our attention. So that's what's happening on television. That's why even in Hollywood, the industry, the music industry, let me tell you something. And I'm going to break this thing down slowly. Satan was the music director in heaven. Y'all ain't got that yet? Y'all understand why music is perverted? Hello? God never took his gift. But it, when one thing about it, and, and this works both ways of the spectrum. If you are Holy Ghost filled, you try to do things God's way. If you are perverted, then everything's perverted. That's why people are raping kids. That's why this, you understand what's happening here? It's perverted music. And let's go. Y'all be thinking, oh, they hate. Y'all crazy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I got time to play game. Y'all crazy. Who hating on somebody that's demonic? Listen to what they're saying. And you can always tell because the message used to be about Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. The old time messages and oh, that's old timing, but they were spirit filled. That's the difference. That's what I'm talking about this morning. Not so. If you think I'm just talking about people, you didn't miss it already. You might as well just get off of here. Talk about spirits conforming to this world. Everything is spiritual. Y'all sitting up there thinking that we're just in this world. No, you have the kingdom of God and you have the kingdom of the devil. And what's happening is they are competing. But now here's the deal. God don't compete. God tell you, come. Come while you can. Repent. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. That's how God does it. God, the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. But only the kingdom of darkness, it will entice you. That's why, that's why America have obesity problem. All those fast food restaurants, they knew exactly what they were doing. Let's weaken her. And when I say her, talking about the nation. Let's put bars on every corner, especially in the black neighborhood. Stores. Y'all don't notice they ain't got them stores in, in, in the other neighborhoods? Yeah, I'm talking. You can get mad if you want. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's a setup. Nobody playing with y'all. Porn on, on the thing. And video games. These kids can access anything at any time. And y'all wonder why they know what they know. And yet y'all not teaching them the spirit of God, the power of God, the commandments of God. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking up in here. But let me finish reading this. It says that the forces are competing for our attention and loyalty. That even Christians are sometimes torn between two. Have you ever been torn between doing the right thing and the wrong thing? God, I need to pay my bill. But this man said if I sleep with him, he's going to give me $1,000. <laughs> oh, we're going to play? We're going to play? Or we're going to talk for real? Y'all ain't ready for me. It's just reality. It's reality. So God says, do not be conformed to this world. And the apostle Paul, he said, but transformed by the renewing of your mind. One of the things I had to do, and I'm being honest with you, I really, and I'm going to say it. I was not a good person when I was out in the world. I mean, people used to fear me. I was like, who to the 10, 30th level. Okay. If there's one such thing, you know how I got renewed. I had to get in that word and I had to prove myself. God, please change my mind. I'm thinking crazy. I'm doing crazy stuff. I'm acting crazy. I'm talking crazy. You got to be real with yourself in this hour. God, change me. God, rearrange me. But that word of God does that. That's why they don't want you reading the Bible. That's why the enemy would, the federal system, that's why it's trying to work people and notice everything going up. So people got to work two, three jobs. So they think um, they tore up the family. So now the mother can't even stay at home to raise the children. You don't understand the system. Uh, divide and conquer. They've been doing it from since the beginning of time. So everything is systematically. Because if they don't have time to renew their mind, then they're going to keep doing the same the same cycle. Then you'd be so tired with you smoking cigarettes, you're drinking, you're having sex, because now you need an outlet. 
Why do you think people take vacations? Even in the ministry, all of a sudden, oh, we need to vacay. Are we going on this cruise? Only this generation is the most vacationing people I've ever seen. And ain't nobody jealous. I probably could have went on so many of them. But I'm getting it. I don't have that pleasure. And I'm not saying God just wants you to live a, a life where you just can't do nothing. It's supposed to be about souls and everybody about that money and and fame and you know y'all y'all, y'all I, I love y'all posters y'all look like models and yes I'm I'm talking about you and I really don't care most of you look like models you ain't got no spirit to war <laughs> oh y'all ain't ready for me I know y'all think I'm crazy and I am in a good crazy way that's why I keep saying it because the enemy. Is out to steal, kill, and destroy. And y'all don't see how much he's stealing from the body of Christ. Y'all don't see how much he's killing. Even in your mind. We're talking about mind-binding demons. Because you guys are not counting the cost. This stuff is real. You're sitting under somebody that's not real. I don't see how you can do this. Okay. If somebody's in sin, how could you go and listen to them? Don't you know that whatever they're dealing with, listen to me, even, even through this, Every sin that a person deal with, if they're sinning heavy like that, don't you know they're spewing out them spirits? And then you wonder why you're thinking about another woman, another man, or you're thinking about this, or you're thinking about that. I told y'all what happened when I went to visit this church here. That night, I had a, a sexual dream. And I was like, God, I don't think like that. I don't roll like that. So he said, where you went? And I already knew what happened. And I was like, wow, I went I went in that. It was just, it was just crazy. That is real. Even a, a song. I told you one time I was with my armor bear and, you know, I let her pray her little R&B. And I had a dream that night. And I'm like, wait a minute. Here's what's happening. When you are just endorsing the word of God and you're feeding it and you're running after God, your spirit is open. So that's why they call it being sensitive to the spirit. So whatever you pour in your spirit, it automatically detects. Oh, wait a minute. This is not, um, this is not pure. That's why a person that really know God, know the spirit of God, spend time with God, you can't fool them because immediately a red flag going to be like, that ain't God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They're not trying to judge you. It's just reality. Come on, somebody. So let me continue reading. It says that by testing... You're going to go through testing. They may discern what is the will of God. When is the last time that you truly discern that God had a will for your life? Because there's the permissive will and there's God's will. Permissive will is, I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. Now, when you fall on your face and you start crying or they hurt you in relationship or whatever because you're being disobedient, just come back to him and I'm going to tell you which way I want you to go. Let's just be honest. We have a generation that want to do what they want to do. And I did it too. We want to look, this is my life. I'm grown. No, you're not. No, you're not. They got some devils out there that are thousands and thousands of years of old. They've been messing up. They messed up the first Sodom and Gomorrah, and they messing up this one. Come on, somebody. Enticing people. Come and play. Come and do this. And everybody like little kids. Yeah, I'm going out there. I'm going. You coming? Discern and learn, says the Lord. Let me continue. We cannot remain who and what we are right now, says God. The question is, how will we change and who will we allow to influence us? You got to be careful who you allow to influence you. I do not, and I'm not trying to be funny. I try to listen to some of the people that y'all send me. I can't do it. They sound good. But when I go back, you see, prophets are like recorders. And, and, and actually, every child of God. We'll, we'll, you know, it's like a um, photographic memory. I'll listen to something and look at something, and I promise you I'm going back and dissect it. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, something. I'm telling you, it's a form of God in this, but denying the power that of mean they teach just enough to say, oh, that's God, that's scripture. But when you really dissect it with your spirit, you're like, that ain't God. That, that's a, No, no, no. It's not even having power. He said, but having a form of God, but denying the true power of God. I'm talking about that true power of God. Praise God. Let me continue. Then the question is, how and who would influence us? Who Will we be conformed to the world around us or will we be transformed by God? I'm going to repeat that again. Will we be conformed to the world around us or will we be transformed by God? I want you to think about that, people. Conformity is ever-present danger. I recently found myself considering and thought of two ways that can be conformed to this world. We can actively pursue the world and worldliness, or we can simply be passive and allow the world a slow but steady eroding influence. So it's two ways that you get influenced. You do it, you go all out, and you're doing whatever you want to do. Oh, he's subtle. And I'll be honest with you, the enemy is subtle. He is so subtle. So, as a matter of fact, can I tell you something? Most of the time, when you realize that something is a distraction, 
It's after it's finished distracting you. And you'd be like, wow, I didn't even think about that. When you have to count the cost, you have everything, everything that comes, everything that somebody's saying, everything somebody is doing, you got to count the cost. Most people, I'm going to tell you what's happening. You don't know that a lot of people be bored. Have you been bored lately? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm going to tell you why. The enemy got everybody. Fun, fun, fun. Move, move, move. I mean, I mean he, he, he doing that, huh? Everything got to be fast. And then they got this motivational speakers. And I, I love some of what they say, but I don't like all of what they say. No sleep, no sleep. You and I both know you cannot function if your body don't rest. As a matter of fact, that's how many people catch a heart attacks and stuff like that, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Strokes and stuff. This is not the way God meant it to be. God did not mean you to grind, grind, grind and lose your mind. The devil is a lie. Running after money, running after stuff so you can be the boss, so you can be the girl, you can be the boy. The devil is a lie. Count the cost, people. Because this world is really just trying to destroy you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me finish. This is a great temptation to many people, perhaps especially to young people who have been raised in Christian homes. When I was a teenager, I saw many of my friends get swept up by this kind of worldliness. We all had been raised in Christian families, but when my friends began to experience the independence of young adulthood as they begin to distance themselves from their parents, that is the first thing. When your children start, stop listening to you, they don't want to talk to you no more. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all don't want to ready for me. They start, they be like, oh, mom, go ahead, or, oh, dad, go ahead. That's when you better start praying. And I said something this, this morning to somebody, I'm going to say to you, stop waiting till something happen. Pray before it happened. You should be praying 24-7, you guys. Pray, pray, pray. If you don't know what to pray, speak in tongues. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. It's very important. I'm serious. Hallelujah. Okay, so let me finish. So they studied how the world acted and acted that way. You hear what I said? They studied how the world acted and they started acting. That's what they doing. The TV shows. Y'all don't know this? I'm, I'm, I'm going to let y'all know how the devil know what time it is. I want y'all to go on Netflix or just Google if you don't have it. Look how many shows that they have about end times. Lucifer, Queen of the South. But they, but, but they, they mix it up. They got something for y'all to enjoy entertainment. But all most of them are biblical movies. You understand what's happening? So he knows he has but a short time. But let me finish. They studied how the world dressed, and they dressed that way. The young girls, I don't like calling them witch's name, and then y'all get mad. I had one pastor. Oh, he made me laugh. Um, I know you're a powerful preacher, but you shouldn't be calling nobody no witch. Let me tell y'all something right now, and hope it be noted and, uh, and wrote in. I am not like most people. I am not amused about money, how a person look, how much fame. That's some of y'all preachers, not me. I don't care who you are. If you are not God's, then you are a liar. And I'm going to tell you, especially if he tells me to do it. So you can say what you want to say about me. I, let me tell you something. God sealed my fate a long time ago. Once he told me who I was and I had to deal who I was, I don't care what nobody say. I go to God first. And if God said, that settles it and that's the end of the story. Some of y'all are conformed by their money. Yeah. But you know, they're famous. That's why some of some of y'all pastors, fake pastors, gonna go under Trump. Yeah, I said it. Gonna go pray with him and stuff like that. I ain't even getting on that. I, that ain't even worth my time. I'm not even doing that one. Yeah, but I said it right. Listen to this. In a hundred little ways, they conformed to the world until they were indistinguishable from the world. That means they conformed so much you can't even tell the world from the church. Mmm, sound familiar? Y'all women. Y'all want to show y'all breasts on lives. And y'all other women love to have it. So you're going to be dressing like that next. Which I rebuke the name of Jesus. But it's a spirit that takes on. So whatever you look at sooner or later. You're going to be like, oh, that's cute. Can I tell you something? That's why I got back into this. You, you know I had clothes on. God said, I need you back up in it. And I, and I know we're going we're gonna to go here today. But you're just doing a live. That's the problem. Everybody take everything a little too lightly. If you're preaching and teaching the word of God, Holy Spirit, Holy God, come on somebody, hallelujah, Holy Bible, shouldn't you try to be a little holy, try to be a little modest, oh, y'all ain't ready for me, this is not, this is not, um, how could I say, it's not a fashion show, oh, y'all ain't ready for me, y'all ain't ready for me, let me continue, some eventually experience the work of God to draw them back. Many others never did. So God will try to draw people back that the devil have taken. But some never do come back. So they will deliberately, com completely conform 
that's a dangerous, dangerous path to be completely conformed. I ain't gonna lie. God says that he's married to the backslider. But you also know that when you get completely conformed, it's kind of hard to come back. You have to want to. And you can't force people. Y'all be trying to force people, you know, with the word of God. You cannot do that. Your position is to pray. If you have somebody in your family, husband, wife, or whatever, the best thing for you to do is pray for them. Don't be beating them up with the word. That's why they kind of scared of Christians. Now, God never does that with us. So stop doing that. You tell them and you back on up. That's what I do with y'all. Let me tell you something. Excuse me. I know half of y'all don't believe it. The other half are spectators. The other just look, I'm just hearing what she's saying. Once I deliver the message and I'm not trying to be ugly, that's up to you what you do with it. And I'm not trying to be ugly. I care less. I've already done my job. So whether you believe it, you're not, you talk about me, say, I really don't care. That's why all these comments that be negative, pot, half of them I don't even read. Only when I'm prompted to, I read. You understand? Because I'm not going, I'm focused. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I know what my mission is. And when you know what your mission is, then you ain't even worried about nothing. All you want to hear is, well done, thy faithful servant. Hallelujah to his name. So, come on, people of God. If you know you got a mission and assignment, quit looking to the right and looking to the left. Because they're going to talk. They did about Jesus Christ. They don't like Jesus Christ. So, they ain't going to like you. All right, let me continue. All right. For most of us, through the conforming power of the world, comes in a much subtle form. We become conformed to the world by just lowering our God. You know your guards. Can I tell you something? You got to stay on guard. I know it's like, man, do I get a break? Can I tell you something? I ask God that. And I'm very transparent on purpose. God say, not till you die. <laughs> I asked him, because, you know, I get like, I told you how the food tried to, no, ain't no try. He did. Knock me out my seat. I'm in my seat. I was getting ready to do this live. Knock me. I fell on my hand and it hurt it for a minute. I was like, did I just get assaulted by something I couldn't even see here? And I know it sounds crazy, but it's real. You might as well just get in shape. That's, the devil's doing it. Them demons are in top shape. Christians, lazy. Don't want to study. Don't want to pray. Don't want to do this. We're not like the world. So that means our stuff going to be, you, you, gonna, you know, and I'm going to say something. I'm going to try to say it in a way because you do have to watch what you say on here because you know how people are. You always got to be better than them. Some of y'all caught what I say without saying it. Mom used to always say you got to be better. I didn't understand that. I was like, what you mean? You do. You got to be better than them demons. Because them demons, they in shape. They know the word. They be waiting for you. Especially the atheists. You got to study your word. You got to be better. Come on somebody. Not better, but better. Let me continue. By neglecting to maintain a watchful demeanor. You got to watch. Anybody could just come to me. They know that. They know that. So, honestly, and I know a lot of you don't like it. Most of your disappointments and your setbacks would be by best friends or close friends. Because a person that's focused, you ain't going to let no, no enemy close to you. So the enemy is going to use the weakest link. I'm teaching. I'm giving y'all keys to the kingdom. Going to use the weakest link. That's all right. You ain't got to get away from them. But just watch. Them. You might have to side out them. And then you might have to tell them, this is what we doing. This is what we doing. Y'all y'all play too much. Y'all talk about how people back too much. The Bible says if you have an art against your brother and sister, go to them. Y'all want, want to know why a lot of people had a problem with me back in the day? Because I don't play. I'm coming to you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to look at you crazy and be like, what you doing? I thought we was cool. Oh, this is what we doing? Then when I act crazy, oh, apostle ain't right. No, you ain't right for trying it. <laughs> yeah, I said it. All right, let's continue. By failing to hold an offensive posture. I'm not saying you got to be ugly with people, but you got to let people know I'm checking everything at this door straight up. You call me what you want. You can say what you want. I'm checking it out. The Bible says it. Test the spirit by the spirit. Why do you think he says that? Because the enemy comes in and he transforms himself into the angel of light. Why y'all think a lot of people, well, that's why the church is in a mess. Most of the ones y'all think right, and, and, and I'm going to say some stuff. I'm going to start saying some more stuff. I remember when I went, somebody wanted to go see Jesse Duplantis. You guys, I, I've i said it once. I'm going to say it again on here. And I don't care who don't believe me. I don't care. Shoot, you better go to God. Um, so I, I, I already didn't want to go. But I went because some of my friends, I'm kind of like, oh, you don't want to do nothing. Okay, I went. Went to listen to Jesse Duplantis. You guys, I had liked him because, you know, he's a southern preacher from Louisiana. And he has that little slang. And he, you know, kind of comical. 
You guys, this is what that man did. He was talking, he was talking good, some good keys about money and uh, prospering and all that. And in the, in the middle of the message, he did new world order. And everybody I like that didn't hear it. And you know me. Yeah. I'm looking around like. So then I'm confused because I know what I just heard. New world order. That man put up his, that he did. I don't care. And that's before the Lord died. God said new world order. I said, so since nobody else moving and, uh, but I, 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 he lost me right in there, right? So then I'm turning around to the person I'm with. I said, uh, excuse me. Cause yeah, like he ain't here too. So I want to make sure. I said, did you hear what he just said? Uh, maybe that's just part of his, um, I said, no, 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 no. You said it's another thing. Y'all, y'all make excuses for people. Stop doing that. Let me tell you something. Thank you, Lord. When you have been following God, listening to God, know your word. Notice what I say. Know your word. Soon as something hits you, that's not God. You looking stupid. And don't let nobody make you think. So everybody, I'm talking about everybody just stay like it wasn't nothing. I'm watching them to the end. I was so sad. And then I went back and asked God. I said, God, why'd you make me go? They said, because I want you to hear that. What am I saying? The same ones that y'all following and thinking that love God. Talking about new world order. Y'all ain't ready for me. I, I know it. You know, God was serious when he said, Many are called, but few is chosen. But he was more serious when he said, everybody that say, Lord, Lord, it's not of the Lord. And y'all be thinking that's a game. That did hurt my spirit because I didn't think, I mean, I wasn't like following him 100%. But I didn't think he was that type of person. When I saw that, you just don't know. He heard and left, but if he'd have stayed there, I'd have asked him in front of everybody. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be honest with you. That's on me. You know what I should have did when he said, I should have got up and said, sir, did you just say New World Order? The next person that tried it in front of me, that's what I'm going to do. Watch me. I'm going to stand up and I, I don't care who said I'm out or they could throw me out. I'm going to be like that uh, other preacher that, that um told, um what he told, who that told that to? Joe Osteen. He said, sir, don't touch me. I'm going to tell him, to, don't touch me. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm not playing. We got to start calling people out and y'all be thinking that's out of order. No, what's out of order is what they doing. That spirit is coming up on the people. You know what he was doing? He was getting people to accept new world order. A pastor. Oh, don't talk about I ain't even talk about the, um, is it what, 35,000 script um, names that's on that thing for FEMA. That when martial law broke out, that if y'all in them churches, that they would t t tell y'all, everything's going to be okay. Y'all ain't ready for that because then y'all get scared because y'all pastor might be on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that go Apostle Dixon talking that stuff again. Whatever. Whatever you say, I know my faith. I ain't scared. But do you really know yours? Do you really know what they're supposed to do? You better ask God. Okay, so let me continue. He says that it's full of the world pursuing the world. Equivalent of being instantly crushed in a giant industrial mode. Did you hear what he said? A giant industrial mode. They're trying to mold us. This is what we want you to look like. This is what you want you to talk like. This is what you want you to be like. This what you, you know, I, I posted something about Professor Umer, Omer, I'm sorry, what he was saying the other day about how everything has been strategically done in every community. It's the same thing that's being done in the church. They're trying to dumbfound y'all. Y'all don't read y'all word for yourselves because everybody got the phone now. You better start reading, but most of all, you better start getting close to God so when things happen, God can tell you, move, stay, don't trust them, don't trust him. Because we, we're not going to have, when martial law and everything start for real, I I, I, I ain't worried about me because I, I already know. Most of y'all are not going to be able to take it because you know, y'all not preparing your minds and not preparing your souls. We ain't going to be able to tell each other nothing. You're going to have to hear from God because if you go with the wrong person, they may kill you. And it's not it's not something I'm trying to put you in fear. This is real. I told y'all to download pureflex.com. They have divination on there. They have martial law on there. Why do you think they're making no the movies? Y'all think they're just making movies? Y'all should know how they roll. They always make movies and show you what they're going to do. Just like New York being underwater. That stuff is real. California. As a matter of fact, I, I put a dust at the Lord that I had put like two, three years ago where I saw an earthquake from the east to the west coast. Y'all know that's happening right now, right? Y'all ain't ready for me. People just don't. I don't know. I, I think, just to be honest with you, I think people are not going to believe until things happen. 
And, and that's how it's always been if you really read your Bible. So you really can't get mad. All you can do is pray. Praise God. Praise God. So slowly you might even understand that the changes are taking place and that they're not taking place. So what God was telling me to tell you is that stop being conformed to this world. You got to understand who God is and what he's talking about. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's not just about good preaching. It's not just about good teaching. It's about do I want my soul? Where do I want to spend eternity? Who do I want to spend eternity with? Now you have your free will. And one thing about God, he's not going to force you. But I will tell you this. You got a bully and that's the devil. And I promise you right now, this is how he's thinking. I got a short time and I'm taking everybody I can with me. Oh, baby, you coming with me to hell. Oh, trust me. Come on, somebody. If I got to send a good man, a good woman, you don't hear me. Why do y'all think husbands are killing wives and vice versa? And then they even killing their children. Y'all understand what's going on? Those are spirits. You got to be careful who you in time, time with. Even as a friend, I don't care who you are. I don't let people get close to me. They get mad. I don't. I did that when I was um, starting my prophetic classes. I went through hell. Had somebody put Gorilla Glue in my shampoo. I mean, I went through hell. And then when I, I got mad at God, I said, God, you told me to do this class. Now people, he said, no, 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 no. I never told you to let people close to you. I never, he said, I told you to always ask, who is this before me? And to use good judgment. Uh-oh. God said that judgment. And but y'all say don't judge. You better judge who comes into your life, who stays in your life, who's around your children, who's around your husband, who's around your wife, who's around you get the point. Y'all better quit playing. And then when something happened, y'all crying to God, and God tried to warn you before it happened. Hallelujah. And this <laughs> fill the power of God. He couldn't stop me. He thought it was gonna stop this message. All right, so that's all God told me to say. God bless you. Now, you notice they didn't um, cut off this live. You see how they do? But I'm going to tell you right now, when you have the power of God, they don't want you because it's resonating. It's resonating. It's resonating. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And all you got to do, just give God your all. That's all God wants. No, we're not perfect. You are not going to be perfect in this flesh. But give everything to God. Because guess what? You might be the difference between somebody going to hell or heaven. God is using you. You might be the one that can save your family. It's not funny. You might be the one, and even if they don't like you, stand in the gap for them. Some people on your job, don't stop hating people. Let them do what they do. Yes, it hurts. It's, it's, it's disappointing. It's like, okay, what's going on? But you got to be strong in the Lord. So you just stay being strong, okay? So God bless you. God keep you. I love you through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 18 days. Whew, it's almost, no, it ain't almost over, but <laughs> just stay strong anyway, all right? God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Rule our soldiers for that is who we are. Mm, unstoppable, relentless. What? We the same. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Paul, Paul. I'm, I'm like Paul, Saul, whatever you want to call him, okay? You are like somebody from the past, trust me. And God chose you. Yes, he chose you. Boot up. Suit up. Bless.